everyone, it's Ashley the Thrifty Chica here on YouTube and I'm so happy today to teach you all about Cricut Design Space and we're going to teach you all the tips and tricks so that you can use Design Space like a pro. Today we're going to teach you all about the differences between the attach feature and the weld feature. They do have similar functions but they are different and I'm going to teach you exactly how they're different. So watch this video so that you can learn and if you haven't yet make sure to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. Let's get started with showing you exactly how to create some different projects here. So we're going to go into text and the example I'm using currently is through the desktop. Um, if you're using a phone or using a tablet, it will look slightly different. Um, on the phone, you'll find the slice, weld, and attach features along the bottom of the screen. Um, in the computer version, it's on the bottom right hand side. So we're going to go into text here on the left and I'm going to write a word out. So I've specifically chosen a script font because I feel like this is the best example for when you're going to go ahead and use the weld or attach functions. If you're trying to um, edit this so that all the word is attached the same way that you would as if you were writing in cursive, you're going to have to use a different feature to make this work. So you can adjust the letter spacing and here I'll show you along the top. You can adjust the letter spacing but I find it's most useful if you just ungroup these and you work with them separately. So one of my favorite tricks for working with fonts to keep everything lined up the same way so that way it doesn't um, go veer off the wrong direction. I use the grid lines along here and I place my letters right along the grid line. So there's the first letter and when you're doing a script font you want them to connect and slightly overlap a little bit here and that way it looks the most natural possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep continuing this. So we're going to line everything up and get that. So if, if you're not careful, it will leave breaks in the cutting. So just make sure that you have everything lined up where it looks like it's attached. And there we go. Okay. So now that everything is lined up, it's still separate because we haven't grouped it. So we're going to draw a little box around it and we're going to click group. And you could just go from there and um, keep working and integrate it into different projects. However, it would cut everything separately, so that's not what we want to go with. If you're doing a script font, um, you want everything to stay connected. So the first way to make sure that it retains the same position is to go into the attach feature here. If you attach all the letters together, it means that they will stay in the position that you've oriented them inside of here. If we copy this, we're going to duplicate it. So I click the right hand button and I clicked duplicate. So this feature is only attached. So if you're only attaching something, it still retains all the individual features of the letter. If you look on the right hand side, when you're going to cut it, it would still cut it as if they're individual letters, but just in the same shape. However, if you click on the weld feature, what it does is it welds all of these pieces together so that it becomes one solid continuous cut. So it, the example on the left would cut it into little pieces and you would still see the individual letters, but they would still be retained in the same position. However, if you weld it, everything on the right will be cut as one singular piece and you won't see any de demarcations between the cuts. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of how it looks once you cut it out and that way you can see you know visually the difference between how they work. Here's our finished item. The top hello is using the weld feature and the bottom one is using the attach feature. So attach, just as a quick sum up, keeps all the letters in the correct position. This is really handy when you're using um, items and you want to make sure that they're in the right position. However, it does cut them individually and you can see the little gaps in between 
because they are cut individually. So if you're doing a script font, you're going to want to use the weld feature and the weld feature just keeps it in place with the attach and then the weld fills in those gaps so that it makes it all one solid piece. And that's really great when you're using scripts. You know, in you the are... beginning was trying to figure out what is the difference between these two because they do really function very similarly. The big difference is this makes it a solid piece, the same color. This makes it individual pieces just in the same position that they need to be in. So let me know if you have any questions and I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you haven't yet, make sure to click the like button and leave a comment below letting me know any questions or comments or content that you would like to see so that I can help you do your very best with Cricut Design Space. And if you haven't, check out the cards on the top of the video and it'll lead you to a playlist showing you all the content that I have for Cricut so that you can use uh, Design Space just like a pro and you can create some really beautiful custom projects using Dollar Tree items. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.